The word confirmation reminds us that this sacrament brings an increase and deepening of baptismal grace. It unites us more firmly to Christ. It renders our bond with the church more perfect, and it gives us a special strength of the Holy Spirit to spread and defend the faith, to confess the name of Christ boldly, and to never be ashamed of his cross. Confirmation, like every sacrament, is not the work of men, but of God. You should wear your Sunday best. This year, candidates will not wear gowns for confirmation. Ladies may wear a dress or pants and a top. Please do not wear strapless, backless, or narrow strap tops without a sweater covering the shoulders and back. Gentlemen may wear a suit or dress pants with a button-down shirt and tie. All should wear dress shoes. No sneakers or boots, please. Remember, this should be our absolute Sunday best. Seating in the church is at a maximum capacity of 30% of the building's typical capacity. Households will be seated together and will be socially distanced from other households. Each student may bring only two parents or guardians and their sponsor in order to accommodate the current limitations. If sponsors attend, they will be seated with the student and parents. If this is not possible or not desirable for the sponsor, a parent will serve as proxy. Seating will be assigned ahead of time. Wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Face coverings, masks that cover the nose and mouth are required for all persons on our campus and during mass. Please place your mask over your mouth and nose as you are exiting your vehicle. Arrive 20 to 30 minutes before the celebration begins to allow adequate time for seating. Gather at the main door of the church, being sure to observe proper social distancing. Before entry, all individuals will have a temperature check and be checked in by a greeter. An usher will take the student and parents directly to their assigned spot in the church. Please remain in your household's green box for the duration of the celebration. Candidates should be seated nearer the aisle. This may be a side aisle or the center aisle. Music will accompany certain actions of the liturgy, but congregational singing is discouraged. Following the proclamation of the gospel, the candidates will be presented to the Minister of Confirmation. At this time, we ask all of the candidates to stand where they are. The minister will then tell them to be seated. Before the conferral of confirmation, candidates will renew their baptismal promises. These are the promises and responses. Do you renounce Satan and all his works and empty promises? I, I do. do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I, I do. do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who today, through the sacrament of confirmation, is given to you in a special way, just as he was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost? I, I do. do. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Before the individual anointing, the Minister of Confirmation will symbolically lay hands over the candidates. This is a sign dating back to the Apostles of the passing of the Holy Spirit. During this time, candidates will stand at their seats. At the time of the anointing, after putting on a face mask and washing his hands, the minister will approach each candidate where they are. Please stay where you are. As the minister approaches, the candidate and sponsor or proxy should stand. Parents will remain seated. The sponsor or proxy will not place their hand on the candidate's shoulder. Here is the dialogue. The presider will say, Morgan, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Then the presider will say, Peace be with you. And with your spirit. The minister will anoint the candidate's forehead with sacred chrism using a cotton swab. The sign of peace will only be the verbal exchange. There will be no handshake. As the minister departs, the candidate and sponsor or proxy may be seated for the remainder of the celebration. After the celebration is completed, please be seated in your box and wait for an usher to give you directions for exiting. Each family will have the option to have one picture taken with the student, parents, sponsor if present, and celebrant in the sanctuary. An usher will guide you at your turn. Please bring all of your belongings and your certificate with you. 
After your family's picture, you will be directed to leave the church immediately. If you choose not to take this picture, please remain in your box until an usher directs you to exit. We thank you for your cooperation and adherence to these guidelines. We are so grateful for your patience and support as we strive to joyfully bring the sacrament of confirmation to your child. Thank you for partnering with us on your child's formation. We look forward to celebrating with you.